Tiffany's driving over her first bridge here at the Villages. And it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Which means we have four and a half days to use our free rental week, right? Yay. <laughs> We've been having a lot of fun driving through uh, lots of different neighborhoods down here in the south. We live in Lake Denham uh, of the Villages. That's the name of our village. So we're close to Dabney. We're about as far south as you can get in the Villages. Yeah. Just right down the road is where Megasin Road ends to County Road. So, uh, so far we just been out exploring our area and then Brownwood Paddock Square. Yeah, so we saw that the weather was gonna be beautiful this week. So I took a few days of vacation off. Yep. So we could really enjoy the whole day on the golf cart. Um, it did end up raining all day yesterday, so we got a lot of stuff done around the house. Yep. Um, and it rained this morning, but now it is absolutely gorgeous. So we figured we'd hop on the golf cart and go explore. So we're gonna kind of test our boundaries and get outside of our comfort zone. Uh, number one, we're gonna see how long Tiffany can ride in the golf cart with me. Because most, of, well, we've been on it all day, but the most, the furthest we've been going one direction and back is about 30 minutes each way, right? Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna go a minimum of an hour away, one way direction, a minimum of one hour, maybe further away. So <laughs> we'll see if she can put up with me that long in a golf cart. And then we're also gonna test the limits of the golf cart because we don't know what we're gonna buy yet. We're gonna buy gas or we're gonna buy electric. And so we started with an electric golf cart because we like how quiet that is. Right. It's much easier to talk to one another as we're riding around. And it's also better when we're vlogging so we don't have that loud engine noise. We've gotta go grab some lunch somewhere. So why not go out and see how far we can push this thing. So come along with us as we unplug the golf cart and see where we go. And more importantly, see if we make it back on one charge. <laughs> So I had over four hours of GoPro footage to edit down to a 20 or 30 minute video. So portions of this video is sped up with music underneath. Part of it is in real time with this vlogging. So I hope you enjoy this ride through the villages today.
Awesome. So we made it all the way to Lake Sumter Landing, and how long did it take us? About an hour. A little longer than an hour with all the stops. We, we, if we subtract the stopping for getting lost or trying to figure out where we were going, then it would have been an hour. And we only used up about a quarter of the charge on the, yeah. uh, the, on the, the battery there, so we're definitely going to be able to make it here and back home if we don't make too many pit stops on our way back home, right? That's right. So once we got here, we headed straight for the Lighthouse Point Bar and Grill um, because they have lunch specials that run until three o'clock. So it's one of our, we love to come up here and have those. It's just enough food um, and you get the beautiful view of the water and everything else in Lake Sumter. And where else can you get a lunch for only $6.99? You can even get McDonald's for that nowadays, right. right? All right, so it's a really, really windy day. So we got our awesome hats on. You like Tiffany's new hat there? That was my hat that she confiscated. I've learned golf cart, you need a hat. <laughs> <laughs> so you might've seen the boat back there in the background. If you've never done that, how much is that? Like two or three bucks? I think it's $3 now. You can't beat it though. So you get a nice little uh, boat ride around Lake Sumter here. So if you're in the area, definitely try that out. So now that we're done with lunch, we're gonna take a stroll around the boardwalk and then go check out uh, the town square. And most of that will probably be B-roll because they do play music. If there's not live music, they have the music from the radio station blasting. So do not want any copyright strikes, but enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day with us. Hi. Are we having fun yet? We are. You ready to drive? Yeah. Tiffany's driving over her first bridge here at the Villages. And it's a big one. <laughs> eyes on the road, eyes on the road. <laughs> but to lose my hat. Boulevard and we're making our way to Megason South. Next stop is Sawgrass. Sawgrass. We did it. We made it back home without running out of battery power. Had a little bit of range anxiety before we left today, so we left a little after one o'clock in the afternoon. The battery was fully charged, and we made it all the way up to Lake Sumter Landing. We drove around the town square multiple times, had a great lunch there on the water at the Lighthouse Grill, and then we drove around some of those neighborhoods that are right next to Lake Sumter Landing. And on the way back, we, you know, uh, when we left, we still had about half of our battery range left. So we drove through multiple neighborhoods, uh, the village of Charlotte, the village of Osceola Hills, a couple other neighborhoods and drove way back in there exploring those areas.
a beautiful day and on our way back from Lake Sumter we decided to go through some of these neighborhoods because you know we did say we're treating this like a lifestyle visit um, yep. in our patio villa looking for that perfect house um, so is it a resale I don't know but we wanted to check out some of the neighborhoods on the way home and so where are we the... this is the village of Charlotte and that's where we used to live that's where we raised our family Charlotte North Carolina So we went through originally the village of Hemingway, which is really beautiful, and they had the Havana Country Club. We didn't go inside, but we drove by the Havana Country Club. So we will be going. We to definitely Havana will be going. Yeah, because they, they have a they have a, a, a great Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch. We need to check out. So if you've ever been to Havana's, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, I guess this is our next stop was here in Charlotte. Yep. And away we go. one being chauffeured around for a change <laughs> this is awesome I can sit here and vlog play my music check the GPS and I can also check out this awesome awesome view of the golf course right back over there on Tiffany's side with some really cool uh, older neighborhoods here in the villages of Florida and then on the way back home we decided hey let's stop by Sawgrass we brought our uh, putters with us so we played putt-putt there right as the sun was setting. I'll meet you over there. You can take the path. Yeah. I'll meet you. I'll get the sign. There it is. Nice. Good job, honey. Better than I thought. Nice. There was a great band called Relic that's performing tonight. All right, so we had an awesome day. The wind has finally calmed down. We just played putt-putt over here next to Sawgrass. And now we're gonna drive up here and show you this crazy, crazy crowd for this awesome group called Relic. They've been rocking for the last hour and a half, two hours. They just took a little break. And it's about 7.30, so they're getting ready to go back on stage here in just a couple minutes, and they will rock out until 9 o'clock. But look at the madness. Look how crazy this place is. Also available at the 
right, so that is the most packed we've ever seen sawgrass. So next time you're in town, make sure you check out Relic. And they were rocking. They brought the house down. We saw them about a month ago at Brownwood Paddock Square. And uh, I don't think too many people knew about them at that point in time, but the word has got out. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome band. Um, every single parking spot, every single uh, inch of curb space was full of either cars or golf carts. That was the busiest I've ever seen Sawgrass Grove. It was busier than St. Patty's Day. It was busier than Santa Con. And this band rocked for an hour and a half, took a little break, and they're performing right now as we speak. And they perform all the rocking hits from the 70s and the 80s. They play Aerosmith, they play Queen, they play Led Zeppelin, they play Guns N' Roses, you name it. And that lead singer can hit every single one of those notes. And that was the, the best applause I've ever heard. It was a thunderous applause. So uh, put Relic on your schedule. If you like rock and music from the 70s and 80s, they're pretty darn awesome. So Tiffany's already inside. We've had a great day in the golf cart. Uh, we got a couple more days left in the rental. So stay tuned. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, smash the thumbs up button, leave us a comment and share our videos with other awesome people that are interested in the villages or just looking for fun, positive content. Hope you have an awesome rest of your week and we will see you in the next video.